It's the story of Pakistan's nuclear journey. The story of Pakistan's nuclear program is not merely a tale of technological advancement. It is a narrative deeply intertwined with national survival, regional power dynamics, and the ever-present shadow of perceived existential threats. This is a story of a nation determined to secure its sovereignty in a volatile geopolitical landscape. Pakistan's pursuit of nuclear capability was not born out of aggression. It was a response to a rapidly changing security environment. The program was initiated in the aftermath of a devastating war and a clear demonstration of conventional military imbalance. The 1971 war with India was a watershed moment for Pakistan. The loss of East Pakistan, now Bangladesh, was a traumatic event that shook the very foundations of the nation. It exposed vulnerabilities and highlighted the stark reality of Pakistan's strategic disadvantage. The war revealed a critical imbalance in military capabilities. India's decisive victory underscored the urgent need for Pakistan to find a way to deter future aggression and safeguard its territorial integrity. The conventional military disparity was simply too great to ignore. The humiliation of defeat and the dismemberment of the country fueled a national resolve. This resolve was to ensure that Pakistan would never again be subjected to such a devastating blow. The quest for a nuclear deterrent became inextricably linked to the nation's survival. In the wake of the 1971 war, Zulfikar Ali Bhutto, then President of Pakistan, made a pivotal decision. He initiated a clandestine program aimed at developing nuclear weapons. This decision was driven by a deep sense of responsibility to protect Pakistan from future threats. Bhutto famously declared that Pakistan would acquire the bomb, even if it meant eating grass. This statement reflected the unwavering determination and the immense sacrifices the nation was willing to make to achieve its strategic objectives. The program was shrouded in secrecy, operating under the codename Project 706. Bhutto's vision was clear. A nuclear deterrent was essential for Pakistan's survival. He understood that conventional military strength alone could not guarantee the nation's security against a much larger and more powerful adversary. The nuclear program was seen as a necessary equalizer. Dr. Abdul Qadir Khan, a metallurgist with expertise in uranium enrichment, played a crucial role in Pakistan's nuclear program. He returned to Pakistan from Europe with critical knowledge and technology, establishing the Kahuta Research Laboratories. This became the epicenter of Pakistan's uranium enrichment efforts. Dr. Khan's contributions were instrumental in overcoming technological hurdles and accelerating the development of Pakistan's nuclear capability. He assembled a team of dedicated scientists and engineers who worked tirelessly to achieve the nation's strategic goals. The Kahuta Research Laboratories became a symbol of Pakistan's scientific prowess and determination. The success of the Kahuta Research Laboratories was a testament to the ingenuity and dedication of Pakistani scientists and engineers. They overcame numerous challenges, often working under immense pressure and with limited resources. Their efforts were crucial in transforming Pakistan's nuclear ambitions into a tangible reality. Pakistan's nuclear program faced significant international opposition. The United States and other Western powers imposed sanctions and exerted diplomatic pressure to halt its progress. These measures were intended to prevent nuclear proliferation and maintain regional stability. Pakistan, however, remained steadfast in its pursuit of a nuclear deterrent. The nation argued that its security concerns outweighed international pressure. It viewed the nuclear program as a matter of national survival, not a matter of choice. The sanctions imposed on Pakistan had a significant impact on its economy. However, they also strengthened the nation's resolve to achieve self-reliance in strategic technologies. Pakistan learned to navigate the challenges of international isolation and to rely on its own resources and expertise. India's nuclear test in 1974, codenamed Smiling Buddha, was a turning point in the region's security dynamics. It shattered the existing balance of power and heightened Pakistan's sense of vulnerability. 
The Indian test served as a stark reminder of the potential threat posed by its larger neighbor. The Indian nuclear test accelerated Pakistan's nuclear program. It reinforced the belief that a nuclear deterrent was essential for maintaining strategic stability in the region. Pakistan could no longer afford to lag behind in the nuclear arms race. The 1974 test galvanized Pakistan's efforts to acquire its own nuclear capability. It became a matter of national pride and a symbol of defiance against perceived external threats. The nation was determined to restore the balance of power and ensure its own security. The Soviet invasion of Afghanistan in 1979 further complicated the regional security environment. Pakistan found itself on the front lines of the Cold War, supporting the Afghan Mujahideen against the Soviet forces. This conflict had profound implications for Pakistan's security and its nuclear program. The Soviet invasion increased Pakistan's strategic importance to the United States. The U.S. provided Pakistan with significant economic and military assistance to support its role in the Afghan conflict. However, this assistance came with conditions, including constraints on Pakistan's nuclear program. The Soviet invasion also created new security challenges for Pakistan. The influx of refugees and the rise of extremism posed significant threats to the nation's stability. Pakistan had to balance its support for the Afghan Mujahideen with its own security concerns. In May 1998, India conducted a series of nuclear tests, once again escalating tensions in the region. Pakistan responded with its own nuclear tests later that month, codenamed Chagai and Chagai. -I. These tests demonstrated Pakistan's nuclear capability to the world. The 1998 nuclear tests were a defining moment in Pakistan's history. They signaled the culmination of decades of effort and sacrifice. Pakistan had finally achieved its strategic objective of acquiring a credible nuclear deterrent. The tests were met with international condemnation and further sanctions. However, they also established Pakistan as a nuclear power, altering the strategic landscape of South Asia. Pakistan had demonstrated its resolve to defend its national interests, regardless of international pressure. Pakistan has developed a comprehensive nuclear doctrine that emphasizes deterrence and strategic stability. The doctrine is based on the principle of credible minimum deterrence, which aims to deter aggression without engaging in an arms race. Pakistan maintains a robust command and control system to ensure the safety and security of its nuclear arsenal. Pakistan's nuclear doctrine is designed to prevent the use of nuclear weapons. It emphasizes the importance of maintaining a credible deterrent and avoiding escalation. The doctrine also includes provisions for retaliation in the event of a nuclear attack. The command and control system is designed to prevent unauthorized use of nuclear weapons. It involves multiple layers of security and strict protocols for authorization. Pakistan has taken significant steps to ensure the safety and security of its nuclear arsenal. Pakistan's nuclear program continues to face challenges, including concerns about nuclear security and the risk of proliferation. The international community remains vigilant in monitoring Pakistan's nuclear activities. Pakistan is committed to maintaining the highest standards of nuclear safety and security. Pakistan is also working to strengthen its relations with the international community. It is engaging in dialogue and cooperation on issues related to nuclear non-proliferation and arms control. Pakistan recognizes the importance of maintaining regional stability and preventing the spread of nuclear weapons. The future of Pakistan's nuclear program will depend on its ability to address these challenges and maintain its commitment to responsible nuclear stewardship. Pakistan has a vital role to play in promoting regional stability and preventing nuclear proliferation. The nation's journey continues, marked by both challenges and opportunities.